Well, here's a question, Deb. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think that tidying up the house could bring you joy? Oh, I love <laughs> a good tidy and a good clean-up. Yeah, well, apparently you're not alone. It has become a worldwide phenomenon thanks to a woman named Marie Kondo. Oh, I want to meet her. <laughs> so what is it all about? We sent Sophie Upcroft to find out. This girl's no joke. She's the bona fide queen of cleaning. Hello. At just 19 years old, Marie Kondo developed the life-changing magic of tidying up. We have too much stuff. <laughs> and when she put it to paper, it became an international bestseller. It's so hard to let it go. Turned Netflix series. Choose item that spark joy for you. Spark joy. And is now sparking joy in homes across Australia. New day, new joy. Gemma Quinn has has been trained in the art by Marie Kondo herself and is now teaching others here. It's a lot more than just a tidying process. One of Marie's quotes is, by dealing with your things, you're dealing with yourself. Um, and that really does happen. Today, Gemma is bringing the life-changing magic to the Salco family in Brisbane. Take a moment to think about what the house is for yourself, um, what it might be in your ideal life going forward. Starting with the traditional greeting of the home, Okay, let's go. Clothing is a really great area to start with because clothing you really learn how to grow your sensitivity to what sparks joy for you. And so that probably wouldn't include the ironing board and the ladder <laughs> in the area where her beautiful clothes are supposed to be. <laughs> probably not. So when you have an item and you're holding it, um, you're doing a joy check is what we call it. You're looking to see how your body responds to that item and you know, um, Marie would say that your body um, has a positive response and it goes ding. So what, Savannah, does that spark joy? No, it's a little bit tight fitting these days. Yeah, and so... tight fitting doesn't spark joy as a mum? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, thank, thank you. you dress. Once each item has been joy checked. Are you excited about wearing it? Yes, I am. Almost everything gets folded before it goes back in. When you're folding, one of the most important things is to find your rectangle. And so with this dress, we fold it in um, on one side and we'll fold those sleeves down, fold the other side over. We take the top up to the bottom and we leave a gap here. So if you can make a garment, a piece of clothing, stand up by themselves, then you've conmarried it. If it doesn't stand up by itself, you just need to change your folding technique a little bit. It feels so like I could come in and super quickly just get what I need. Even in some of the tidiest homes, the linen cupboard can be a problem area. It's quite hard to keep tidy. With the Kamari method and subcategorization and using boxes, it's really easy to keep it clean um, and tidy and organised. Great now that my kids can come and grab their own towels when it's bath time. So yeah, no, loving it. Do you think that you'll be able to teach them to fold that way? I definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> now to really put the method to the test, the troublesome Tupperware drawer. We'll use boxes so that it can be easily accessible by both the parents and the children when they want to get to it. There we go, done. Great, so with a bit of creativity, even the Tupperware drawer can be tamed. Absolutely.